Psychopaths. Apparently Tony's one. That's what the doctors say. What even are psychopaths? How do you find them? I've created a test. I guess I'm the first thing there is from a psychopath. I have anxiety. We'll see. I haven't heard from you in a while. Professor Madden says you're a psychopath. I'm not a psychopath. Trying to prove you're not a psychopath is even harder than trying to prove you're not mentally ill. How do they diagnose you? They give you a psychopath test. If your total score is 30 or more out of 40, you're a psychopath. That's it. You're doomed. You're labeled a psychopath for life. They say you can't change, you can't be treated, you're a danger to society, and you're stuck in some place like this. You're stuck in some place like this. If I'd just done my time in prison, I would have been out seven years ago. We aren't all good people trying to do good. Some of us are psychopaths, and psychopaths are to blame for this brutal, misshapen society. They're the jagged rocks thrown into the still pond. You're talking about psychopaths almost as if they're a different species. It's a convenience. It's a term. So should we define them by their psychopathy or by their sanity? Just wait and see what happens when they develop a drug for psychopathy. The threshold's gonna go down to 25, 20. I think I went a bit power mad after taking your course. Knowledge is power. Why haven't I gone power mad? I wonder. Take the very roughest edges of a person and leave behind the normalcy. Mold them into the crazy we want the world to see. I haven't heard from you in a while. It shows the paper. Lily, you're not seeing this is the, the worst. <laughs> Go again. You're gonna get an F.